Come on, give Judy and her and uh, Ivana and her and entire staff a round of applause for the Peach Festival. The Peach Festival is a great part of our city and uh, tradition, and actually the 5K part of it was run on this, so we're really excited about it. Thank you for being here. This is an incredible crowd. I think this speaks volumes about what this trail is going to mean to our city, and we appreciate it so very much. I cannot start any uh, talk about anything we're doing in this city without thanking five people, and that's Angela Mayfield, Carolyn Cage, Bruce Sigmund, Jed Lewis, and uh, Jim Pierce. Four of those are here. Y'all raise your hand. Everybody knows you, but raise your hand. <laughs> Angela would be here, but she had a, an accident and, and uh, can't make it today. But they have the votes. Uh, I can bring stuff to the council. They have to vote on it. The, I can bring a vision, whatever. These five have done such a wonderful job for our city, seeing the vision, understanding the vision, and making it happen. The second group I want to thank are the voters of this city. Without the Rustin Moving, uh, Moving Rustin Forward initiative, this wouldn't be possible. This is how we're funding it. And I thank you for seeing the vision for our city for the next 15, 20 years and voting for that initiative so we can get it done. Then some people within the city itself, starting with Ammon, Georgia. Uh, unbelievable. When I hired Ammon, the first thing I gave him was the Greenway, and he has run with it, and it's just, I mean, it speaks for itself. So Ammon, thank you, not only for your friendship, but what you're doing here in the city. But also Andrew Halbrook, where are you, Andrew? Right here, on the radio this morning. works in our, our uh, engineering department and does a great job and then John Freeman I think had to leave uh, yeah he was John had to go look at another project moving Russell forward to Kentucky uh, bridge <laughs> that uh, we're, we're working on now so uh, he's not here Daryl where are you right here Daryl Carraway our public works And also, the Mabry Company, they did the actual construction work on this, and I appreciate Rusty and what he does for our city in, in lots of jobs. Uh, this is a wonderful uh, addition to our city. I think it tells us what the city is going toward and shows people what we really believe in here. So now I'm going to turn it over to Ammon, and he can tell you even more about what's coming up after this one mile is uh, open. Ammon? Thanks, Mayor Walker. Uh, Mayor just stole my thunder. Really. <laughs> I, I could just say have fun and, and, uh, and you all would get the gist of what it, what it is that I'm about to say. Um, but first of all, I think it's important that we acknowledge W.A. Jones. W.A. had the foresight to, uh, to buy this property years ago with the expectation fully that it would be a place for the community to uh, to love and cherish as much as, as much as he does and as his family continues to. Um, also, I should acknowledge the, the Jones family. Bob Jones, unfortunately, is in Monroe this morning. He's not able to attend. Uh, sorry, the James. Sorry. Uh, the T.L. James family, and uh, Bob in particular, uh, worked with uh, W.A. Jones to, uh, to make sure the city had what they needed to establish what is really more than just a a, a dirt road through the through the woods. Um, this is a linear park, so uh, into the woods, as far south as the service road, it is yours. It's a place for you to exercise. It's a place for you to to uh, self reflect, get a little quiet time, look for migratory songbirds, ride your bicycle, spend time with your loved ones. Um, it's more than just a, a, a path through the countryside. It's more than just a trail that will allow the folks here on Cooktown, uh, in the Cooktown neighborhoods and, and uh, West Kentucky, Chautauqua, it's more than just a path that will enable them to safely bike or walk to downtown. That's, that's one major attribute, but it's more than that. This is a place where you all can learn to love and cherish the city, which is ultimately yours. Right? Everything that, that the mayor and I, Andrew, Daryl, do is on your behalf at your bequest. This is something that you all have asked for and worked towards for a long time. Can I get a show of hands if this is something that you guys are, have been excited about, anticipating for a long time? Can I get another show of hands if you haven't actually been here yet? This is good. 
So if you've been excited about this and have experienced it, know exactly what it entails, and or you have not been here, I encourage you guys to talk to one another because a major benefit of this entire greenway is an opportunity for us to get to know one each other, one another. It's an opportunity for relationship building. It's an opportunity to, to meet people of different walks of life, um, different parts of town that share a common interest, that being getting outside in a beautiful setting such as this. So please enjoy it. Take care of it. Pick up after other people who haven't uh, realized that litter isn't detracted. Um, we're not going to put trash cans out here. Trash cans uh, attract litter, unfortunately. Um, so pack it in, pack it out. Pick up after other people. If you see a big fallen tree or somebody dumps the couch, uh, let us know. Mayor at Rustin.org. We'll swoop, <laughs> we'll, we'll swoop in and, uh, and, and get those uh, hard to lift items out of your way so you can continue to go about your way. But ultimately, this is yours, and please take care of it, and let us know what else you would like for us to do on your behalf. Um, that said, we have acquired all the property from here to Cook Park, so this fall we're going to start turning dirt. Ultimately, next spring, next summer, you're going to be able to go from here along the Chautauqua Creek Valley, cross over Chautauqua Creek, and then meander all the way up to the back of Cook Park. That'll add an additional two miles that direction. Simultaneously, we've, we've uh, just acquired 90% of the property, which goes from California at the Walmart neighborhood market. Everybody familiar with that? Mm -hmm. yep. All the way south to West Tennessee, which is the city limits. That's uh, 10,000 linear feet, so it's almost two miles of additional trail. We'll also expect that to uh, start being built this fall. So there you have it from zero to one today, from one to five within the next year. Simultaneously, we've got some projects going on Celebrity, on Reynolds, on East Kentucky, on the MLK Extension. And just yesterday, we sat down with Blue Cross Blue Shield Foundation of Louisiana, and I trust you all, we're family. We just landed a huge grant to start to build east-west connectors through the most deserving part of this community. That being the south side with a uh, historic population of African Americans, unfortunately most of which are living out or below the poverty line. So folks down there walk because they have to, and we're going to give them a safe place to walk. From I.A. Lewis School to Green Clint. I.A. Lewis School to Green Clinic from uh, Line Avenue um, over near the Baptist Church all the way out to the new MLK extension. And then another project which I'm really excited about, slightly outside of that, uh, that specific neighborhood, will directly benefit the students for the Louisiana Center for the Blind. But Adrian and, and Ben have joined us this morning. Uh, that project will go from the historic fire station past the Center for the Blind housing, past uh, the Early Childhood Learning Center, all the way to Ruston Elementary. Oh, wow. So as you can see, you all did a good job. <laughs>